Welcome to Business Purpose and Clarity with Petri. I'm your host. We talk about startup life, insights, practical tips, mistakes, failures, and everything between. Is it you? Is it the market? Or is it your process? How do you know? If the sales are not working, if the lead time is too long, your pipeline is not fat enough in order to sustain it to the end where you're closing the deals. We're living hard times now. Hard to get funding from investors. So you need to cut costs. You need to focus on revenues. You need to focus on sales and do the fundamental things in your business. But if the sales is slow, and the responses are not exactly what you expect, you may have those three questions in your head. Is it me? Is it the market? Or is it my process? If it's me, meaning it's the product, something wrong with the product, it doesn't work anymore, maybe the pricing is not in there, maybe the offering is not there, or maybe it's not in priority in this market situation. Is it the market? Meaning there's probably nothing wrong with the product per se, but everybody's just waiting for what's happening with uh, things in the market, with inflation, the uncertainties, maybe with the uh, Russian war, whatever it is that makes people postpone, not say no to you, but just postpone the final decisions. So if you just wait it out, it may get better. Or is it your process? So it's not your product, it's not the market, but it's just that you are not doing enough. Your sales process, to put it bluntly, sucks. So if you are not contacting enough people, if you're not active enough, if you're not doing follow-ups, if your pipeline is just too narrow, just too little stuff to squeeze something out of it, it doesn't work. Some of these things are in your control. You can change the product, you can change the pricing, you can do things like that. The middle part, the market, that's really hard because, well, you don't much have an influence as a single person or entity for the market situation, but you can control the process. You can target more companies, you can be more active, you can start to do the CRM thing. I know. You're not doing it with the CRM way. Oh, you are. You're using pipe drive or something like that. Well, good for you because it's 75% of the companies are not doing it that way. So congrats, you're already in the one fourth of the winners in that sense. And for those 75% of the listeners who are not actually tracking their sales and don't know about the pipeline or not actually working the pipeline and tracking and they think that they can keep everything in their head and they have amazing deals and contacts and the probability of closing them is just amazing. You will get the money next week. No, it doesn't work like that. Data speaks feelings. Well, save them for Instagram. You need to have a systematic process so that you can improve and you can monitor and you can be more objective about what's happening. So you can define as well that whether it's actually the, your process. If you can say that, yeah, my process is okay, it worked before, I have adequate amount based on the closing rates of, of new leads, nothing has changed there, but the conversion is not happening or whatever it is, then you can probably rule out whether it's the process, whether it's you or it's the market. But the difficulty is that if you have these three options and you're running out of time, well, something needs to give. You need to step up. So is it you? Is it the market? Or is it your sales process?